Okay. <laughs> okay, everybody, settle the fuck down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back to Busty Buffalo. All right, you probably have noticed a change in scenery of some sort. Okay, so I wanted to do the podcast, but I wanted to change something different. I didn't like how it, you guys got to see my whole fucking room. Thought that that was a little weird, all right? If people just listen to the podcast, you, did, you didn't even notice. You didn't even bother. But the people who watch the podcast probably, I don't know. I wanted a little change, okay? The lighting here is a little ghetto, okay? When you think of ghetto, I think of like, well, the ghetto, the word ghetto came from like what? the uh, During World War II when, uh, you know, Nazis were going into ghettos and trying to get Jews. Jesus Christ. Anyway, but this shit, the shit, the fucking setup is a little ghetto, but I wanted something different, okay? I wanted, like, uh, like my own fucking little corner that I can just, you don't have to look at anything behind me. You can just focus on, focus on my face. That's the point here, okay? Um, I got a little wooden stool, like I'm, like I'm Japanese or something. Actually, the Japanese don't sit on the stools. They sit on the floor, and they have really low uh, tables, Anyways, well, actually, no, I don't even think they have tables. I think they just, you know, they use their uh, magic trick. They use their, like, ninja magic, and they just have the little like, little bowl of soup floating in the air. Anyways, dude, I mean, they're samurai magic, you know. I'm pretty sure samurais were into black magic and shit like that, you know. If not, I'm wrong. But either way, listen, <laughs> I, I think I'm just bullshitting. Anyway, so... I just wanted to say welcome to the new setup that I got, okay? Um, the camera angle will probably be different every single time because, like, I I don't have, like, tape or anything. I don't have, like, oh, sit down, be right in front of the tape, you know? Um, what What is it? What else? What else? Um, yeah, so I hope you guys can get used to this little setup because I am. I'm going to. And every time I, I'm talking about a clip or something, I can put it right up on this wall okay i can put the fucking clip right there and we can all just watch it together or well you'll watch it if you're on youtube if you're listening to this then uh it sucks for your dick but um what else yeah i just wanted to say that okay um before i get into my sponsor you guys know who elwo is all right elwo is a good friend of mine and he makes a bunch of music and uh he also makes music for this podcast, the intro song is his is his uh, beat. Uh, all my outro songs that I use will always be uh, will be his. And uh, yeah, just because I'm not trying to get copyright strike from uh, YouTube, I already swear and all that all that shit enough on here. So they probably got me on some special list. Anyways, I just don't I just don't want to get a strike. You know, that's one thing. I like to follow the rules, but at the same time, have some fun. You know, like when you go to a brothel, don't touch them first, all right? Let them touch you, because if you touch them first, they all, brothels always have lawyers in the back, you know? There's always a lawyer in the back of the fucking brothel. He, he's getting sucked off, but he, you know, that's part, that's part of his, you know, his, uh, what's it called? His, uh, 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 uh that's part of his little bonus, okay? He helps out the brothel, okay, in, in, in law. And then he also gets sucked off sometimes, you know, by by uh, by the best girl in in the brothel. Now, honestly, I I don't think uh, brothels should be you know frowned upon. I think if it's a fine establishment, you know, and, and uh, believe me, if anybody is supporting sex work, it's me. All right, I'm a big sex work guy. Why? Okay, so this this is my proposition. Okay. Every state right now in America is fucking suffering so damn hard because of this this pandemic, plandemic. Ah ha ha! Get it? Cause it was planned. <laughs> Anyways, but it was planned. I'm just kidding. This whole pandemic, every every state right now is suffering so damn hard. Every state, you know, from fucking California. To Maine, every state is suffering now because of this pandemic. So here is my proposition. Legalize weed, legalize sex work, and not just weed, legalize all the drugs. Because listen, 
Portugal has everything legalized, okay? I I'm pretty sure Portugal is just like a fucking wild, wild west country. A lot of places are going to Portugal right now. I think a bunch of cannabis co uh, companies are doing work in Portugal just because it's, you know, the lower taxes and shit on it. Either way, you start legalizing all these drugs, all right? I'm not going to do heroin if it's legalized. If someone's like, yeah, just do it. No, 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 I swear to God, you're not going to get in trouble, man. Like, are you sure, dude? Like, I swear it was, like, illegal, like, last week. No, 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 go ahead, just do it. Do it, you'll see what happens. And instantly your mind's like, I don't I don't want to do it, you know? And people, in general, are going to be like, oh, I don't want to do it if it's legal. <laughs> then, then, crime rates go down, okay? Increase in taxes from weed and sex work and other drugs like uh, psilocybin that can be used for therapy, or MDMA, or I don't know if acid could be used for uh, therapy. Maybe like microdosing. Everybody in Silicon Valley is fucking microdosing anyway, so everybody should just be microdosing acid. All right. If the tech giants that rule this world are all microdosing on acid, I think it's time for us to start fucking drinking gallons of this shit. And this isn't just me talking. I feel like the whole internet would definitely agree with me. Now. Uh, I just went on a whole tangent and I got a lot of talk. I got a lot to talk about and I got a lot to update you boys and gals and majority boys. I say that a lot. There's no gals watching this. Maybe my woman or my, my, my close family, maybe my aunt or something watches me either way. I got a lot to talk about. First thing I want to talk about boys is I haven't talked to you in so long. All right. The podcast, I went on a month like visit and I visited my girlfriend uh, on the west coast and I just didn't bring any of my shit uh, I could have bring my 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 microphone I could have bring my my computer I'm not my computer my my camera but I just ended up I forgot I had a limited amount of supplies I could take all right it was either this shit or my ps4 I think you'd understand why I took the ps4 it's because I want a game I'm a gamer Dude, all right? I'm a G-A-Y-M-E-R. I'm a fucking gamer, all right? And I know gamer spelled G-A-M-E-R, but gay as in happy, and I'm also gaming. I'm a gamer. I'm happy gaming, all right? If you understand that, understand it. If you don't, suck my ass. You can suck on my ass if you want, and if you don't, I understand too. You know what I'm saying? Either way, ladies and gentlemen, Welcome back. All right. It's been a long time. I went and saw my girlfriend in the West Coast in uh, Washington and I came back like, I don't know, maybe a week ago. And uh, I just got really excited to start making videos again. And I hope you guys are excited. My plan is to kind of back away from doing gameplays and shit because... Yeah, I just don't fucking like it. I, I mean, like, I got, like, a decent amount of subscribers, but people just aren't watching this shit because it's not interesting enough. So I got to switch up my 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 uh, my content a little bit. I got to go back to doing podcasts, and uh, I'm going to release shorter clips of the podcast, you know, just to show people, hey, this is what I'm talking about my podcast. You don't have to watch it for, like, an hour or whatever, 45 fucking minutes, but you can just hang out watch some clips, and then maybe you can watch the podcast. I, I don't know. That's my plan. All right, and then also I'm going to do, I'm gonna start doing some skits, some sketches, all right? A bunch of shit like that, you know, some topics to talk about, ranting. But I wanted to get back to the podcast, all right? I fucking missed, I missed doing it. And uh, yeah, I will be releasing more merch for this podcast, all right? The shirts won't be expensive. I'm not looking to make profit off of my fucking, my, my fans. At least not yet. <laughs> um, but I want to make new merch and I hope you guys will, you know, maybe fuck with it. I'm, I, I can make something, but you know, <sighs> all that good stuff. It just feels good to be back. You know, it feels good to be back. And, you know, I, I, I feel like a little whore that, you know, that was, that went to community college for like two years. And after she got her associates in, uh, in communications, I went back to the streets. You know, I went back to the streets to make some more money because that's where the real money is, baby. That's where the dirty money is, right? See, I feel like a prostitute that went to community college and now I'm coming back to the streets to make some more bank for my dollar and more money for my pimp, all right? I wonder, I wonder if there's like 
prostitutes, but like independent contractors that are prostitutes. Like they're not under a pimp. Like they don't have an employer. They're 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 the employer. Like all right, like but they just have to commit. <laughs> They just have to commit 30% of that money to taxes. Uh, anyways, yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying, all right? It, th there should be independent contractors in, this, in the sex world, all right? You're like, hey, man, uh, what agency are you under, all right? If I, if I was to talk to a prostitute, if I went up to a prostitute and I was interested, you know, I'm not interested, but let's just say what if scenario, okay? I went up to the prostitute and I said, hey, okay, what, who do you work for? And she's like, I'm actually an independent contractor. Now, wouldn't that be cool to listen to? Wouldn't that be cool to hear? Huh? You're like, hey, Mrs. Prostitute, uh, Mrs. Ball Gaggler, uh, Mrs. Uh, Gapened Asshole. Hey, who do you work for? Right? And the prostitute would just be like, I'm an independent contractor. I don't work for no one. You know? That'd be beautiful to hear. Regulate sex work, dude. That's what we need to do. All right. That's one of the fucking pillars of my of my philosophy. Okay. Regulate shit that can he bring taxes in because obviously the middle class is out of money. All right. And they don't know who the fuck to grab more taxes from. All right. Our middle class is diminishing. It's just going to be poor fucking people and it's going to be rich ass motherfuckers. All right. And then there's going to be another revolution just like the Bolsheviks. And it's going to be done. All right. And then, but the thing is, if there was ever a revolution in this country, you will never see me. All right. I will never be holding a torch in front of crowds of humans. Just, we need to go. We need to kill these people. That would never be me. Never. Never. You know where I'd be? I'd be back in my homeland. I'd be herding sheep. I'd be working on the fields with my bare hands. I'd be grabbing rats from underneath my foundation. That's right. I go underneath because I have a crawl space. I don't have basements in the in Europe. Oh, do you have basements? There's no such thing as basements. Well, there could be storage rooms, but there's no basements in Europe. You know, I have no fucking basement. It's really just a crawl space. Anyways, what the fuck was I even on about? Uh... <laughs> I just, I went on like a, a wild tangent here. Uh, also, I can't tell how long we have been recording. My, all my setup and shit is like over there. All right. All my stuff is over there. I can see a glimpse of myself on my fucking computer screen, ladies and gentlemen here. But I don't know how long we're going to be recording. Whenever I feel like we should stop, I'm going to stop. All right. But uh, yeah, I really hope you guys like this little setup that I got going on. You're going to get to see my hunched back, all right, because I'm on, like, I'm literally on a wooden stool, and it's not that bad. I don't know why. I, I really fuck with this, like, little setup I got. It's not that, like, oh, you could have done better. You, you could have definitely done better, Edda. It, it's not that. It's humbling, you know. This is, you know, I don't have that much money. You know, if I was, uh, I, if I was not in school, I'd be fucking ranking in cash, you know, but... I like this little ghetto setup I got, you know, it makes me feel nice and warm inside, you know, and speaking of the ghetto, as I mentioned before, you know, during, that's where the get the name ghetto, you know, originated from, it was during the World War, World War Two. during the Second World War, uh, the ghettos were made for the Jews, the Jews were responsible for all these heinous crimes, <laughs> no, but I can't imagine anybody living in a ghetto, you know, back in the day, I mean, I, if, if, I were, if I was a Jew, right, hiding away from the Nazis, I'd do anything I would. You know, I'd build a fucking house underground. I, I would live like a mole for like five years until the, until the war was ended, you know. But times, times change. <laughs> anyway, so I, want, I wanted to get, uh, just maybe... Tell you guys how my trip was. You know, I should probably, you know, mention that. Um, it was always good seeing my girlfriend, man. If you guys, if anybody's in a long distance relationship, you just understand. You understand what people go through. You know, you understand like the hardships and not seeing each other for a while. But if you got shit, if you got a good thing going on, dude, don't get rid of it. That's all I got to say. All right. If your woman gobbles your balls like it's like it's her last day on earth. 
you keep that woman beside you. All right. You, you keep that woman close to your heart. All right. If she likes to pluck those little tain hairs out, you know, for you, and you're just like, no woman has ever done this for me, you know? And, and she looks at you in the eyes and says, I'm no woman. And, and, you know, then you find out your girlfriend's trans. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, I had a good time. And um, I really, uh, I really want to go back. You know, it's better than this place. I could tell you that 100%. Uh, only because she's there. That's, that's the only reason why. And uh, maybe some other minor factors like the weather or, you know, just the environment but PA just ain't cutting it dude you know and I feel like if anybody else lives in Pennsylvania you just know what I'm talking about all right and everybody here is just I don't know it, it, you, you got Pittsburgh on the left side and you got Philadelphia on the right side and then you got Alabama straight right in the fucking middle and I don't I don't understand I really don't get Pennsylvania sometimes now I'm not hating on it because you know Pennsylvania taught me a lot of things. It, it reminded me to keep uh, open-minded, to be open-minded. Now, majority of the whole state is right conservative. Um, I, I think it's like if you if you live on the East Coast or maybe in this area, it's normal to see Trump flags on the back of people's trucks. That's just how it is. You know, you're just like, uh, you know, Trump supporter. I guess he's a Trump sucker. But, like, I don't even support my president that much. I'm just like, that's our president. Like, fuck it. Like, that's just who he is. Like, do your job. Do your, do your presidential duty. Right? But then there's people that are just fucking... <laughs> fucking sucking off Trump. And I just... They're just like... <laughs> I don't get it. You know? I don't, gra I don't, I don't like, fantasize about, you know, politicians. You know, I get it. Like, he's pretty funny. I'm, I'll, if, I'll give Trump this. I'll just give him one thing. He's the best comedian alive right now that's, like, performing. And I'm only saying that because <laughs> everything is closed. No no comedian can, like, fucking perform anywhere right now. And he has the biggest stage right like, on earth. And he just destroys it. The motherfucker. I mean, he says some dumb shit sometimes. But then he just says some funny shit sometimes. It's just so fucking hilarious. So... I don't know. I'm always in between, man. I see the liberal side. I see the conservative side, and I don't choose. I don't choose a side. I, I pick what I like from uh, what conservatives you know think, and then what liberals or you know the left or whatever you fucking call it, whatever the, like you know whatever ideologies they have, and I conglomerate. I put it together. I'm like, oh, but I like I like this, you know, part of uh, you know this you know conservatives, and I like how they think and. I just don't know why you have to choose sides, you know. I really don't know how. I really don't know why you have to choose sides. I I feel like, I feel like there's always division in life, you know. And I don't know if that's on purpose or if that's just you know, competition. You know, like not you know if it's just like natural for people to always have competition, because there's always a split. In gaming, all right. There's Xbox and there's PS4. It's split decision. Like people you gotta choose a side. It's always between two, you know, Democrats, Republicans, gay, straight. <laughs> well, you're saying uh, homosexuality, homosexuality is a choice? <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah. Um, <laughs> but no, seriously, um, I don't know. If anything, PA has taught me a lot of good things and a lot of bad things and a lot of things to stay away from, to stray away from. And uh, I think I, I think it's that's why it's great that I got, you know, best of both best of both worlds, you know, like Hannah Montana. You get the best of both worlds. Now, listen, I'm not going to lie. Growing up, I used to watch Disney Channel on. Every fucking morning, dude. It was Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, Cartoon Network, and Adult Swim. Adult Swim was always, like, my shit at night. You know, you watch Robot Chicken or, you know, Teenage Aqua Teen, whatever. It doesn't matter. You know, that was, like, yeah. But, yeah, what else I want to mention to you guys? You know, like, you know, it would be so much easier if I had a producer 
or like another co-host. You know, I have an idea of a co-host of who I want to co like who I want to be on this show with, and he's a good friend of mine. But uh, for right now, I think I I gotta do this shit by myself still, and until you know in the future, more on like you know later in the future, who knows? We'll get a, a nice co-host here that can bounce ideas off of. Conversation would fly, but sometimes I feel like. Talking to a camera and just a little mic is uh, not hard, but after a while, <laughs> it gets a little weird. I'd like to have a producer at least to be like, you know, saying shit, but I don't know. I also, uh, what did I do in Washington? I also met, the, I met with my friend Dane. Now, Dane is a good friend of mine that I've known for a few years now, and I knew him way back in the day since Vine. When he was a chubby little bastard, and he was uh, making these these videos, and at the time I would always re you know revine people that were smaller creators, just because I knew how it was, you know I knew how hard it was to fucking get recognition sometimes, get some likes or whatever to see your talent. So I would revine Dane, and you guys probably already know uh, Pepperoni Joe from fucking TikTok. I would revine him back in the day. Now he's like. Pop it on TikTok, but not anymore. I hear TikTok's about to get banned, which is pretty crazy. We can talk about that. But um, I met up with my friend Dane and uh, in Washington, and he lives like fucking so far away from where my girl lives. But I wanted to see him because it was just something I, I was like, I'm going to fucking do it. I'm going to go see him. And then I helped him make a skit. So if you guys would like to go see, uh, make uh, watch his shit, go to Dane. Dane's a uh, little, you know channel his name is dane schofield i always tag him and shit on my instagram he's a funny ass kid he's like a he's like a mixed breed of michael Sarah and like will ferrell put together like he has the hair he has the will ferrell hair but then he has michael Sarah's awkwardness and i think he's our next generation's michael Sarah will ferrell and i and i i can attest to this the man is just fucking hilarious you know and uh yeah, I did a video with him, and then he posted to his subreddit, uh, Cody Co subreddit. Cody Co found out about our, you know, the our his video. I just was like a little thing at the end. I keep saying our video, but it's his video. And Cody Co, you know, told everybody go to Dane's, uh, go to Dane's channel. You know, check his shit out. Check this video out. So Dane went from having a hundred and like something subscribers. To up to 5,000 because of that. No one deserves more recognition than that fucking kid. And I, I recommend you guys go watch his shit. Alright? So, and in the future, I have a lot more planned to do uh, stuff with him. To do some skits or whatever. And um, I'm excited for the future, man. But for now, time shall wait. The time shall wait, you know? For now, all you're going to get is me. You're going to get Papa Edo, okay? And um, that's all you need, really. You know, well, what else do you need, okay? And uh, moving on, next topic, all right? We'll go back to what uh, other shit that I did in Washington, but next topic, all right? Let's talk about tick. Let's talk about our TikTok cocks, all right? I'm hearing TikTok is about to get banned, all right? Now, this, this is almost... Uh, I think this I think this is karma, okay? Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Okay, so I was on TikTok and um I didn't like TikTok. I don't know what it was, you know. Maybe it was the algorithm that they had. They just promoted sex. They promoted just all these underage girls that were like 15, 16 shaking their little coochies in the fucking air and all these 40-year-olds at home just fucking beating off to them. Because that's what it is. You, you, you're you going to, I mean, you can probably advertise the app like, oh my God, start your day. Make, make, I, I don't know how they like, pub, uh, how do they, how does a PR team, you know, go to the public and be like, you can make anything you want and you can post it to this app. I swear to God, you can make the best of yourself, you know, and then I go post some shit about God and then it gets taken down because it's a Chinese government. All right. It's a Chinese app. It, it, this I had I had the like I, I think I had a video about 
like if Hitler went up to heaven, you know, and saw God and God would like shook his head, you know, this was a skit that I had like back in the day. And then he like turns to his left, see Satan, Satan's like, oh, what's up, bro? Come over. You know, I posted that. It got like taken down, you know? And after that, I got shadow banned. I couldn't get over like fucking 100 views on any video. I tried. I'd use hashtags, all this bullshit, right? Taking, I got a video taken down just because it was religiously controversial. Like, fuck you. China's like, they don't let you say anything. They don't let you fucking post anything. And they're saying, oh, we don't, you know, we don't give out data at all. Like, we don't, we collect all this fucking data. And listen, all right, I'm going to give everybody an insight, all right? There is no regulation on data. That means you can lie about giving data out. That means when you go to court, there's no regulation on data whatsoever. That means if you were to collect data and sell it, you don't have to tell anybody that you did. You don't have to tell anybody. Facebook outright, they, they just outright tell you like, you know, like we like sometimes give like, you know, uh, advertising data, you know, for demographics. And we sell it to third parties. What, are, what does that mean? You're selling... All it is is just selling like... Um, advertising information. Advertising data. So people don't have to spend thousands of dollars... On an advertising agency to... You know... To uh, advertise for them. They can just go on Facebook. Buy... Uh, hey... Uh, what demographic buys fleshlights at, at this time of the year? And it tells you the ages that are willing to like, you know, they care for more. Like they, they care more about that at this time of the year. And they're more willing to buy it now at this age. That's what Facebook does. That's what it's all collecting data. All right. TikTok's doing the same fucking shit. You don't think they're making money off of selling their data to other people? Of course they are. It's not regulated. There's no regulation on data right now. That's why data is the most important thing on earth. That's why tech giants, fuck every app that's being made is all collecting your data. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, fucking Twitter. This is all being just collected. Now, what does this mean for you? This just means uh, Facebook gets to see what you buy or what you search up and Google. Like they get to see what you buy at this time of the year. What you like? What demographic? Uh, what part of demographic are you uh, of which you buy? That's I don't know how else to explain it. They all data is when you learn in my when I'm in school, when you learn data mining, you're trying to like figure out data mining used to be uh, those self checkouts at, jo at like, you know, Trader Joe's or Kroger's or Giant or whatever. I, I'm trying to name like different grocery stores, but all those coupons you like you you scan uh, every time a coupon was scanned at the register, it would tell you that RFID would be scanned. And the company would be told more people are willing to buy this. So keep making coupons of the same shit. That's all data mining was. It's like, oh, this time of the year, they're buying this. But now Facebook's collecting all this shit. Amazon's collecting all this shit. Google is. And now they can tell you the most pinpoint advertising you can do. Facebook advertising is almost scary. You can like advertise by county. Like, you know, like, oh, let's say, let's say you uh, want to advertise shit to old people. Then go to Clearwater, Florida and advertise to ages of 50 and above. Because the majority of people living in Clearwater and, you know, in Florida, they're all old as shit, right? So you can advertise. Like, that's how, like, easy it is to advertise nowadays on a serious note. You know, it's kind of scary. But at the same time, if you know what you're doing, it's useful as shit. If you want to sell something, if you want to have a drop shipping company, you can just use Facebook to advertise. You can use in Instagram's kind of gay honestly it's kind of uh, it's, it's a little stupid i'll be honest trying to promote you on instagram is kind of ass because instagram you're just scrolling like through there just seeing what your friends post on facebook you're looking at a whole feed of random shit like just because you want to see some something funny facebook is the closest thing to twitter instagram is like completely different if you were to post anything on facebook it's so easy to advertise because majority of people on facebook are also just retarded I mean, I'm not trying to be like, you know, mean or anything, but it's kind of like the truth. Majority of the people on, you know, Facebook are a little stupid. I'm not on Facebook. I just, I'm just on there because I can talk to my family in, in Europe. That's the only reason why. I never post anything. I never fucking change my status or none of that bullshit. You know, like, I just keep it the same. 
And yeah, that's data for you. And that's what TikTok has been doing. They say, oh, we don't, TikTok, that's when the, I just went off a whole tangent on data information because of TikTok. But data, we're, I mean, TikTok was saying, oh, we don't, you know, give out our data and we never give our data out to the Chinese government, even if they ever asked. What do you mean, ask? They will demand it. You're in China. What kind of government? Do you think you live in a demo democracy? What the fuck kind of bullshit is that? Are you so? You're saying, well, if the government, ever, even if the government asks us, we would never give it to them. TikTok, shut the fuck up. All right, you are not living in a in a free state. You are living in a communist fucking party. Almost, almost a tyrant. And it's almost a fucking dictatorship. It's very close. Very, very close. And you're saying if the government asked, we would never give it to them. Bro, they will take your app. The government will take the information. They probably already have. And they're just lying. Trying to, trying to just fuck, they just lie. That's why it's a, that's why it's a national security threat. It's taking your information. Now, for what for what data information is right now, all it is is for to be selling you shit. But we don't know what it's going to be in the future. You don't have no idea all this data information collecting what it could be like what could it turn out to be in the future. You just don't know. I don't fucking know. I can only make assumptions. They could probably just start making like clones of us. They have all our personality information. They have they got all your all these dumbass girls as fucking Aquarius and their goddamn whatever fucking sign or whatever the fuck it's called their little astro astrological sign all that shit's in your bio everything ever your parents face is in your pictures you know all this shit they can just make clones of us in the future and just be like this is edo he loves comedy and um he has a girlfriend so now we're gonna pair him up with a girlfriend clone you just don't know i'm just making like very very like scary assumptions here but I'm, you just, you got to think of the worst. You got to expect the worst, right? I don't know. It, for TikTok to even think that TikTok is like, oh, it's, it's fine. I swear, nothing, we're doing nothing. Dude, there's almost like, what, what, like, if India was using it and then India banned it, you know, India was like, fuck TikTok. Billions of people are on TikTok. They just lost a shit ton of users. China's using it all around the world. I can't imagine. Maybe like upwards to a billion users on there. Right? What? You're just going to say, oh, all, all this precious information, we're going to keep it safe because we love. We love our users. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Right? And the thing is, I was on Musical.ly as a joke back in the day. I was on that Musical.ly game for a while and I was doing like doing dumbass bits trying to be funny and then musically gets bought out by some Chinese uh company and then TikTok blew up that's all I remember from TikTok I don't know how long it's been since TikTok's been out maybe like a year and a half two years right and, it, and if it gets deleted couldn't give a fuck I got banned permanently right and now it started to look like TikTok's about to get permanently banned. And, 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 and that's just how the cookie crumbles. You fucking permanently ban me, you get permanently banned in life. I feel like God, Allah, what? he's just looking out for me, right? He's just looking out for me, being a good guy. I don't know. Let me check and see how long we've been recording here. Okay. Oh, what else can I talk about here? We've done like 33 minutes here, boys and girls. And uh, I just wanted to say it's good to be back, you know. And uh, yeah, apart from all that scary data information stuff, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I hope you guys are doing great, right? Also figured out I have a very sensitive, I figured out I have a very sensitive asshole. And it's not my fault. Okay, I don't, I don't know who to blame, but it's not my fault. I use a bidet. Now, people, I talk about this a lot. All right, a bidet, aka tushy, all right, cleans your bum. It cleans your bum and it does it for you. And you don't have to put your sphincter up in the sink and clean it. All right, you just, it sprays right at your asshole. Okay, and then it helps you save toilet paper. Now, my girlfriend's house does not have a bidet. 
Uh, let me, uh, let me, you know, re-say that. She does have, a, you know, she does have a bidet, but they didn't install it. I think they bought it two years ago, maybe a year and a half ago, never installed it. Not hating, I'm just saying, install the fucking thing. Because I got a hemorrhoid from not using my bidet. Now, we can say this is, you know, part of evolution, all right? And let me explain. I've been using a bidet now for three, three or four years. I'm a huge advocate, all right? I, I will express my bidet, you know, my I will express my love for bidets till the day I die, all right? I'll have, if I have fucking seven bathrooms in my damn house in the future, all of them will have bidets, all right? Now you're saying, I, know, I don't know what a bidet is. I just wipe my ass with my hand and then I just clean my hand. I know, you dirty fucking savages. A bidet is something you connect to your pipe, your uh, pipeline right behind your toilet, put it right underneath your seat, and a little nozzle turns, and you spray your little asshole. Now, most of you will think, Edo, <laughs> that's just downright gay. It's not. It's hygienic. If anything, you're gayer for not using it. All right? If you're a dirty bastard, <laughs> you gay dirty bastard. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, um, huge advocate for bidets, but this is my theory, okay? I've been using my bidet for years, years, okay? And I go to my girlfriend's house. I've been there. I was there for a month. After two weeks, I'm like, God damn, bro. Like just shitting and wiping every day, shitting and wiping. All right, just like you guys, everyone shits and wipes every day unless you fast for like two days then you won't be shitting. Either way, I don't know if you guys are like in that into that Gandhi movement, you know. <laughs> hey, if you're into that Gandhi shit, but um, no, it, it, you know, I was I was wiping my ass all you know for four fucking weeks, you know. There, after two or three weeks, I was like, God, my ass is starting to just you know feel weird, you know. And I'm like, why is my ass itchy, dude? You know, and I was like, don't touch your asshole because then you itch your asshole. You're like a little kid. I, when I was a kid, I'd itch my ass. You know, when you're a little kid, every kid just fucking digs their fingernails into their fucking ass and just they just scratch that shit. I see that shit to this day. Kids just don't give a fuck. They just do whatever. They're in public and they'll just pull their pants down and they'll fucking just fucking scratch their goddamn little bum. You know, kids just do weird shit like that. I don't know. And I, I did that shit growing up. And I was like, God damn, I have this urge just itching again. And I'm like nostalgia, you know, I was, fuck it, I was like, holy shit, I feel like a kid again, anyways, you know, and then I, and then one time, I wiped my ass, burned, and I was like, oh, I, uh, 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 that's, that's my face, that, you know, that's the face I gave when, uh, I was, uh, pooping, and I wiped my ass, and it burned, I was like, oh, oh, oh. you know, I did that, I checked my toilet paper, Bloody as a motherfucker. Just bleeding. And I was like... Oh. First, and you go online. You check the first thing. You know, you check everything. You're know, like, oh my god, colon cancer. Oh, oh, fucking... Uh, the Black Plague death. And it tells you everything that, like, you know, it could be. And I just got a hemorrhoid. It was a hemorrhoid, you know? Just blew my mind away. And I was like, god damn. I softened up my asshole so much from the bidet. Just three weeks of regular wiping gave me a hemorrhoid. How crazy is that? Huh? I had the whole I had the whole fucking gig too. I had a hemorrhoid, a hemorrhoid wipes. I had I had fucking goddamn I had the cream and I would fucking put it on my goddamn bum hole. I put on the outside like a lip balm. I put hemorrhoid cream on my ass like it was lip balm on my you know how you put lip balm on your lips? You can pucker up your lips like an asshole that was me i just fucking put lip balm almost on my ass it felt awful it felt absolutely disgusting all right and then i still had hemorrhoids even when i went to the airport on my way back by the way i did an overnight trip so it's a long story I, I i didn't feel the need to go home yet because i was like i just i don't, I don't want to i was a, it was sad it was a lot it was a day before i was supposed to leave too and uh, I changed my ticket so I can stay with my girlfriend for longer. Now, if that's simping, 
Good. I'm a simp because I don't give a fuck anymore. All right. Uh, I do anything, you know, just for my girl. But uh, you guys will learn later in life. You guys are like, Edda, you're such a fucking pussy. You fucking, you fucking stupid gay, stupid bitch. You know, you'll learn later in life. You do anything for someone, you know, and you, and you can talk about it openly. I'm talking about it to fucking random people online. You just don't care anymore. You know, there's that whole stigma of being a fucking simp nowadays and Either way, I, I, I took an overnight flight. That was the only flight available. So I went from Seattle to Dallas, Dallas to Chicago. Stayed in Chicago overnight. So imagine staying in, an, in a scary-ass airport overnight, you know, still having hemorrhoids. I'm going to the bathroom. I got wipes on me. I got wipes on deck, but still just killing my asshole, dude, you know. And then the day I come back, I use that bidet. I use that bidet in my bathroom, and I'm back to normal. And I feel incredible right now. My asshole doesn't hurt. It's not itchy. I check it every time I wipe. Not bloody. Bidets will make your ass soft. And I wouldn't say whole, but it makes it almost like, I don't know, what's the best you know analogy? You think about a peasant who lives in, in the streets. If you guys watch Game of Thrones, you know, there's the red, you know, the red keep. And then there's the shitty bottom feeders all the way at the bottom of the of the goddamn city. All right. I'm in the red keep with my bidet. I'm royalty. Okay? I'm king. I'm prince. Whatever. Every time I use my bidet, I feel... I hear twinkling. I hear like, as if like fucking a fairy came, came by and tapped me on my head and went... Bring. You know that... Bring, that wand noise? That's every time I turn my fucking bidet, that's all I hear. Like, that shit works. And it keeps you clean as a motherfucker. Keeps you clean as a motherfucker. You ain't gonna worry about none. Man, I don't worry about none. I ain't worry about none. I ain't worry about none. You see how I said it? I didn't say the N word? No one can say the N word anymore. I don't, I don't even think the N word is a thing anymore. I think coughing is the N word and sneezing. I coughed in public the other day, just got like five fucking looks at me, just <gasps> like everybody gasped. They're like, <gasps> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I'm going to end it here. Okay. I got, I mean, I got a lot to talk about, but I don't know. There's it, not too much to say, you know, I, I just want to, I want to keep you guys, uh, I want to keep you guys updated and all that good stuff. I hope you guys fuck with the new setup. I'm going to try to get new lights. I don't know. I, I know there's a shadow back here that you probably see. For people at home, this is... You don't got to worry. You, you worry. If you're at home, like, listening to this shit, you know, not watching, then don't worry. But the people watching this on YouTube, all right? Also, anytime I'm going to have, uh, you know, I, told, I already said this, but anytime I want to put something on the wall, you know, let's say I, I think of a video or anything, I'm going to put it up right here. All right, just so you guys know what I'm talking about. I never could really do that. I mean, I could, but I had to like switch scenes on OBS and you would see my face and shit. But now I can just put literally just a video right here, you know, and then it could be whatever the fuck it could be. But I don't know. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, I completely disregarded Black Lives Matter, all this stuff. I think all this shit's, you know, kind of fucking ass. There's, there's still fucking black on black crime going on in inner cities in Chicago and New York, but you never see people protesting about that shit. That's why I don't really think, you know, these protests are doing anything. Maybe they're doing something for police reform, but for the general, you know, for general society and what's actually going on in cities and what's actually happening to people is never being reported. I saw some shit on you know, on the internet where it said there was like over a hundred shootings in one weekend in Chicago and like seven kids, children dead. I, I saw no protest for that. No protest at all. Nothing. And that's sad truth. All right. I'm, I'm not against black lives matter. Black lives do matter. Black lives matter. White lives matter. But right now at this moment, black lives should matter more. I guess that's what people say. I look at the thing is I come from a genocidal, a, a country that was ruined by genocide, not because of skin color, but because of 
ideology, you know, like just a way of thinking, your religion. You know, I come from a country that was war torn because of that. So when I, when I see people, you know, hating somebody for their own skin, at least if you don't agree with someone's ideology, that could be almost justified, almost justified. You're like, oh, that way of thinking is just not my, like not my way of thinking. But you look at a person and their skin color, they can't help that like they're black. Like, you know, what are you gonna be? What are you gonna be racist towards this person because like the way he was born? That I don't understand. At least growing up, when you have an ideology, you you grasp that ideology because that's your way of thinking. You can control your way of thinking. You know, control your way of thinking. Don't be a racist. I don't know where I'm getting at this point. Um. I don't know, man. People say all lives matter shouldn't be said, but all lives do matter. You know, like every everybody matters. It's not. It's not like a fucking. It's not my argument that Black Lives Matter. Of course, Black Lives Matter. They do, but also everybody does. Everybody fucking matters. Everybody always will matter. You know, I saw. I saw a fucking video in Serbia during like protests. I saw fucking I, I couldn't I couldn't imagine it was maybe like fifteen cops. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the video right up here. Uh, I'm gonna, there was like fifteen fucking cops that were just beating on this one dude. They were like, first off, there was a, a, like you know riot police going down the street. Everybody took a turn just fucking beating this dude. He was a white guy, you know. And this is in Serbia. There's no black people in Serbia. Maybe like ten black people in Serbia. And they could be like soccer players, like if anything, right? Like in like lower leagues. But there's no black people, bro. It's all white people. It, it, the police, that's the problem. The media is the worst thing in America because they only show you a black dude getting beaten down by the police. You know, like in Serbia, you, you can't do that. You can't corrupt the media. They just show you like, oh, this is what the police does. Don't fuck with the police. Because they don't give a shit. The regulation will never change in Europe. But in America, at least like there's enough people to like change something make people's voices hurt right crazy shit anyways um black lives matter white lives matter yellow lives matter red lives matter blue lives matter fucking blue lives matter what is that cop Cop, cops matter too man i know so many cops that are like good fucking dudes people that i grew up with and went to school that became a cop they're just good guys you know, that's what happens when you have a whole system of people working together and you have regular people signing up to be a cop and anybody can be a cop because it's just so easy. That's what happens, man. Just trigger happy fucking people that are mean to others. They just are a cop and the media just shows that shit to everybody. I, I don't know. The media is the problem, bro. Like it, it will always be the problem. It's just straight propaganda just happening every single day in our country. And more people need to wake up to that. That's just like, no, that's just straight facts. Anyways, I hope everybody has a good day. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you're listening at home, subscribe on to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, leave some good reviews. Uh, if you're watching here on YouTube, leave a good comment, share this with your friends. Not only is it a comedy podcast, but we can also talk about some other shit that's real as fuck, you know, stuff that's going on today. That I can give you my good, honest opinion. Right? Yeah. Anyways. Toodles.